it's Benjamin. Welcome to Go Fitch. It's day two of the Boeing Tandem hookup, and we're going to go out to the Grunner spot, um, try to get some Grunner, and try to keep one or two Grunner alive to weigh in, and hopefully we have some luck. Sabiki rig to try to catch some live bait for like Spanish mackerel and other fish like grunner. Yeah, so we just drop it down with a piece of like bait on it and yeah, see what you get. So this is one that we caught on the rig earlier, it's just a nice um, spotted herring, which will be great for Spanish mackerel bait. They go alright? Yeah, they're good for bed. Right? Fish this on! Pilly. This is on Pilly! Oh. First decent take of the morning. Phil's already celebrating. Yeah, it's a good fish. It's a good grunter. Good grunter? Yeah, I've got some head shape. Mono on those reels, eh? Need a hand, mate. Then she's still fighting. Take some good runs. You lost it. Lost him. Snap me. Snapped her. Yeah. After all that. Come on. Monster. Meanwhile, back at hook up. Just when you get some line back loop, you lose it all again, eh? Nice mackerel. Big cobu would be nice, wouldn't it? We might go to a commercial and come back when you get a bit more line back. What do you reckon, Luke? So he's been finding the fish for 20 minutes now. The reel is boiling hot from all the running. I, I, you couldn't even pull the drag. We've tightened it so much. I don't know how the fish is pulling drag. We haven't even seen what it is yet, have we? We haven't even seen a flash yet. Well, what we Should we get the gap? What was that on, Luke? Pilchard or squid? Pilly. Yeah, that's the same as my gun. Oh, there we go. Oh. oh, it's a big stingy. Bloody stingray. Just had fisheries check our boat and all the safety stuff we have and they told us not to tie off the pylon so we've got an anchor now and they're just taking Phil's um, boat license onto their boat and looking at the stuff and what boat and sort of motor he has. But they're good eh because they just gave us a caution today? Yeah. It's always good to be safe on the water. Yeah. So we've got all the safety gear. Yeah. Ticked all the boxes. Yeah. And they're just recording some details now eh. Good to see him out there, keeping everyone safe. Oh. Benji's on the with Spanish. Oh, I'm gonna get spooled. Just keep going, mate. Oh, shit. Oh, my... You'll be right. Keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. My reel's gonna snap. No, you'll be right, mate. You'll be right, bros. <laughs> my reel's bent. Go fish with bands. Oh. So I've just landed the biggest fish of my life. This is the biggest fish of my life. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I can't talk. Thanks to Uncle Phil for gaffing oh. it. Your 2,500 little 
Shimano Sienna reel bench was getting a workout. Hang on, Bench. We'll get a photo. He's doing the work! Bench. Bench. Good work, brother. How excited are you? Work, hey? Oh my god, that was so hard. It, Luke thought it was a spinner, so did I. It jumped out of the water like it come flying clean out of the air. I thought, no, when I was winding it in, my reel was bending. My reel was like fully 90 degrees. I, know. I thought it was going to snap to bits. They're a good sport fish, aren't they? Oh my they? god. They are such a good sport fish. They're my biggest fish in my life. Oh, let's get the fish grips and you're going to hold her up. I'm about to go fish, so I've hooked the biggest sport fish of my life and the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life just now got it feel guffed it it's the biggest fish oh gee big queen very heavy she's a big fish Ben struggling to lift it up mate yeah I don't know how we got it in it did awesome jumps on the smallest rod and the lightest gear and it was on it was on uh, my cousin Luke's sister's rod and that was a Kmart rod. And on your Shimano Sienna reel, just yeah. the 2500. The reel was going to snap if we fought it for longer. So, They're a good sports fish, aren't they? big boy coming watch, home for dinner tonight. Just watch that spike. Look at that. How big is that? Bill's on. Like a good one, Phil. That's another shark. You're joking. Yeah, another little shark. So this is my dad's drummer, and we're thinking of to put it in as live to the live thing for the hookup or have it for dinner. So it's a nice drummer. I lost a big one before. I lost a massive one, snappy. the boat. Work, Phil. Hopefully they come on the chomp. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We had a cracker day out at the Grunter spot. Luke um, landed a nice grunter. My dad landed a nice grunter. I lost a horse, about six to seven kilo grunner. I was fighting it for ages. I thought I had a stingray, is that how, that's how hard it was pulling. Then Phil saw it, it was the biggest one he's ever seen in his life. It just, the line sort of probably got tangled and dinged. And then I lost that. That would have won out overall, but Phil, um, Luke and my dad weighed in a grunner. It was, Luke's was 2.87 kilos and my dad's was 3.8. Two one kilos. Three point five one. Three point five one. Sorry. Um, we had just had a great day. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.